Oh, I don't think this is what I thought it was. It might not be. Yeah. Hey guys, today we're trying Bomb Club. As requested by Patreon subscriber Calliope Rennes. Just had a link to a demo. But I googled, I, I, I video searched Bomb Club first. And what I got was, uh... An Atari game? That looked like, pi like Pipe Dream crossed with Space Chem. And this looks like not that game. So... That's a surprise. This appears to be modern. Welcome to the Bomb Club Demo. The demo will take you through, through a few levels of the game just to show you how it plays. Many things still work in progress and the usual stuff. Yeah, okay. First steps. Alright, what am I getting myself into? In Bomb Club, your goal is to get rid of every bomb on the board by creating a single, continuous chain reaction. Place bombs from your inventory, then click and hold on any bomb to trigger the chain reaction. You don't have to be use you don't have to use everything in your inventory. You'll meet a lot of different bombs, each with their own explosion pattern, so take care. I'm guessing that's they might have like sort of since there's a grid, it might be a little bomber manny with the particular patterns. Let's see. Click and hold on a bomb to trigger the chain reaction. Yeah. You want to get rid of every single bomb in one go. The most common bomb in the game just does normal explosion, all the adjacent spots. Okay. Baby bomb is only a plus sign. The fireworks. Deaden the fireworks to increase your score. Fireworks are optional. You'll still win the level if they're left on the board. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what determines my star rating, I guess. Oh. Okay. So if this blows up, we up here. If I click you, you'll blow up all these, which will hit this guy, which will hit this guy, which will hit there. So I need you to detonate, be there, so you'll detonate on the baby. Kill the baby. No, no, kill the kill the baby. So, haha. There we go. Man, I aced that tutorial. They'll never stand a chance. Weird mascot people. Tap anywhere. Yeah, I wouldn't be that... <clears throat> it's not really a surprise to think they would make this for phones, so I shouldn't be surprised by that. First round. Increase the difficulty slightly. What do we get now? Anything new? Nope, same mechanics. Okay. Probably want to do one of these. Just hit both fireworks in one go. And a baby to join them. Are we increasing the difficulty? I think I already did it. I have so many bombs. Got it. Probably gonna start skipping animations a bit because they do take a while. The firebomb. Two sides. When exploding, the firebomb will trigger the nearest bomb in all four directions. Here's the Bomberman plus sign. Gotcha. Any bomber fireworks will block the fire, but holes in terrain won't. It'll do a plus sign explosion and it'll only hit the first thing it reaches. So it will not just- it won't just stretch forever. So here, you'll hit all three of these guys. And then here, you'll be significantly less helpful. But here I can get you to hit both these guys. Let's put a baby bomb here. I can't drag these guys around. Hmm. 
put you here, the baby bomb will detonate here. Which lets me move this one down here. Ba boom. All right. So far, so good. Flame on. Another level of firebombs. So here they want me to exploit their infinite reach. And figure out how to best capitalize on it. Well, that one hits th these three things. This one hit these two things. <coughs> so now I just need a way to chain them a bit, basically, right? So if I detonate you first, you'll hit that guy, which will hit that guy, you'll hit that guy, you'll hit that guy, which will hit that guy, which will do 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 I guess what we're really missing is you. Kind of a sloppy placement, but there's nothing else to do at that point. Should be good to go. Easy. Ice Rink. The very slippery ice bomb. When hit by an explosion, the ice bomb will slide in the opposite direction until it meets another bomb or a hole in the terrain. It will then explode like a basic bomb, triggering everything in the H adjacent squares. Ice bombs can travel in any direction, even diagonally. They can trigger in any direction. Totally caught myself doing that thing where I just articulately narrate what I'm reading, but not necessarily in interpret. Okay, so they work like a basic bomb, but bo but explosions knock them around. Okay. Well, knocking you in any direction is not very helpful, but knocking you this way is helpful. Hmm. So if I start with you, you'll knock me this way, and how do I get that guy to go that way? I guess I should start with you. Blow up you, vip. You'll explode here as a basic bomb, taking out the firework, then his guy, which will go this way. Which will blow you up. Knocking you that way. But then we won't get this guy. What happens when you reach the edge of a- let's find out. What happens when you reach a cliff? Do you stop there and explode? Oh, that didn't go according to plan. Undo. Did it work? Yeah, I, I blocked my path here. Whoops. Well... That complicates things. I can send you down here to blow up, which will send you up. It's not very useful. <laughs> Thank you. 
What even happens if I, oh, I can blow up like a regular bomb, I guess. That doesn't work. How do I get this guy on the bottom? Maybe that's where I need to start? Instead? Knock you up here, you explode here. Then send ice back down to explode down here, I suppose. I don't need to send anyone down here to explode because this will blow up in the first explosion. This got a lot harder immediately <laughs> with the addition of this mechanic. How in the world do I hit them all? You can put them back in your hand. These are the ones that were stuck with at the beginning. We started here, I could send you over here, I guess. Something like that? Nope. Additional complication. If you hit an ice with an explosion, it goes diagonally. I guess that makes the most sense, because how would it know to send you down or left, I guess? But I was just thinking like, oh, it'll go this way, right? Diagonal blasting will complicate things. Send it over here, it explodes here, send you somewhere here, I guess. Sends you down, explode. Sends you up, explode. But that'll block this, so... Sending you diagonally would blow this up, but that diagonally would not blow that up. Not a great situation. I'm like completely stuck. <clears throat> There's no direction for this one. There's so many possibilities. Send you up, you blow up that guy. But it needs to be a chain. If I put you here, you'll blow up that guy. If I blow... stop it. If I blow you up, you go this way, which then sends this guy that way. It takes that out. You take this one out, that one takes that one out. How do I get you? You go up that- if you go up here and blow up here, this guy... Can't really do anything, actually. There's no more ice to send around.
I am so stuck on this level. You get that guy, you go get that guy. How do I blow you up? Because you're going to blow up up here. If I was here, I could catch the explosion, but I can't, like, cross this line here. Moving objects made this so much harder. At least for me. I'm sure there'll be someone that's like, Oh my god, so incredibly obvious. How could you possibly guess to- Oh, here we go. Oops. Uh... Make it two-phase, I guess? You knock it diagonally, blow up that guy, which then blows up him. Yeah. Alright, that's enough of that guy. Diagonals. Yeah, we, we stumbled upon this feature earlier, but now we're dealing with it for sure. So if I hit you, you'll hit that guy who will hit both of these guys. If I put you here, you'll knock him into this to take that out. So I can just throw these around, basically. Why is that person wearing a shark head? We'll never know. Beams! Introducing lasers, bombs, laser bombs, pew pew! To meet the laser bomb. When exploding, a laser bomb will trigger all bombs in the same line or column. The laser will not be blocked by other bombs. It can cross over holes in the terrain. Laser bombs will either fire vertically or horizontally. You can't change their orientation, so place them with care. So these ones are going to be rows, but these ones are columns? Yeah, they are. Alright. So this whole row, that whole row, neither of which has anything on it yet, so... Good job. If we start with this one, then that'll transition to the other one. So I guess there's that. Maybe the other one. Fires up, baby bomb takes that out, fires over here. You explode and take out that guy while that one takes out that. Good. You can do it. If we go by their faces, exploding doesn't look that pleasant, honestly. More lasers! The emphasis on percussion is nice. All the different ways it's incorporated. This row, that row. Seems like a little bit of a no-brainer to take out this little island from here. Baby. Baby. I guess I'll be starting on the top one. Mmm, all three rockets took, up, took off at the same time. That's satisfying. I'm 
minefield, the doom bomb. A bomb that if it blows up, it's probably like an eight ball, like you're screwed. The result of a failed experiment. This bomb shouldn't be detonated under any circumstances. Triggering it will fail the level immediately. Thankfully, doom bombs don't count in the final results, so leave them on the board. So just don't get these ones and you're good. What do we got here? All right, so we're safe there, we're safe there, safe there. So I just need to figure out how to chain to those. So this is why you need baby bombs. Because they'll miss the doom bombs. Just barely. So will start with the baby bomb. Get that, get that. Uh, baby bomb to make the bridge happen. Take you out. Take you out. It's that. But you're not connected, so... Baby bomb to connect that. And then just put these in really safe locations. Like there. And there, I guess. It's funny, the fast forward doesn't actually feel like it goes that much faster. I only just realized you have to hold it down instead of just clicking it once. Did I mention that the game has hats? The game has hats. Has, has, has hats? In an effort to make their bombs more stylish, the bomb club has the genius idea to make them wear hats. Surprisingly enough, the bombs adapted very quickly to the world of high fashion. Putting hats in your bombs will give them additional effects. Just like bombs, you will find a lot of different hats throughout the game. This one looks mad. So, I'm garbage. I'm so bad. Oh, I didn't change page. That's what happened. I was like, I did not incorporate information from that. What do the hats actually do? And then I realized, oh, I didn't read the second page. This would probably be on, uh, I guess it's at the bottom immediately, so because you might already know <clears throat> from playing before. When a bomb wearing a hat is triggered, the hat will fly off instead, leaving the bomb intact. A bomb can wear up to three hard hats on top of each other's. Only when they are gone can the bomb be detonated. Hmm. What are we gonna do about that? Let's review this again. It doesn't make sense to me. Hard hat. Yeah, no, it, it's just, it depends against one explosion. How do I use that? I only have two baby bombs? Like, if he blows those things up, I lose. Wow, that's really worrying. How do I block all four directions? Because he has to blow up. I was thinking, like, oh, we could put babies in certain directions. And, like, put a hard hat on them so they don't explode or whatever. But, like... I don't know. Oh, I'm a fool. I can put the hard hats on the skulls. <clears throat> Just did not at all incorporate that information. I'm like, alright, nope, that's that's why it didn't make any sense. 
I was thinking of my bombs as being the targets, so I couldn't figure out what to do with the hats. I'm like, oh, you put them on the enemies. The bad, bad bombs. That's where you put them. That makes so much more sense. Hat stack. So many hats. So few bombs to put them on. Now that I have too many hats, but I have to figure out how to keep the game going. So I have to blow you up twice in order for you to detonate that way. So second explosion will make this go this way. I can send you upwards. But the first bomb won't quite do it. The second bomb also won't quite do it. So one, two, three explosions should be enough to defeat you. And you'll take out the last firework. So... Boom, ba -doom. boom, 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 boom. Symbol crashes everywhere. Are those supposed to be people wearing bomb helmets? Like, is there a chicken bomb and a shark bomb? Pretty bow is the second hat. When a bomb wearing a bow is triggered, all other bombs wearing the same bow will be triggered at the same time. They will look cute, dang cute while doing it. Oh. It links up all of them. So if something looks impossible, just link the, it with a bow and you're good. So you get a bow. And you get a bow, and you get a bow, and then I win, I think. Yep. There's beach balls in the water, but where are the children? Where have the children gone? Hats into the ring, a challenging level with both kinds of hat. Oh yeah, here we are. So we have ice, we have some pink. If you blow up on that, we lose! So you need a hard hat? Definitely. So you, exploding, could send this guy down here. It'll, that'll blow up you, then you'd blow up that without hitting that, so that's good. If you're here, you'll go down here. This guy's protected by a hard hat. You'll you'll fly down, explode here, take that guy out. How do I get you though? Maybe I actually want you to go here, because you fly here, that's not really a change. <laughs> Doesn't really change anything. I just blow you up automatically, I guess. But what will I do with another hard hat? Put you here and put you here. So you blow it up, but you won't actually go anywhere because there's no space, but you'll survive two explosions, so you're good. I think I did it? I'm not sure. Let's just check. Instead of trying too hard to figure it out. Oh yeah, I never connected those two to each other. I think I thought there was a bow here, and there is not. So the bows cannot go on the rockets, as you'd kind of think.
If I send you down, you then... If, if these are both things and they're supposed to go down... Da -da 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 -da. Generally a good place to be, but how do I get you? Because you'll blow up here, which is these tiles. Not sure what to do. This needing to blow up while there's a skull next to it makes me pretty sure the baby has to be here because that's the only place you could do that little precision shot. So I think I'm right about that part. But you could send him up and then him left. Still doesn't reach that guy. It's just a different version of my current answer, basically. Woo! But you could blow up this, send you up here, which will send him over here, which will take out this guy and blow up that guy. And maybe the bow has to be on you. I think I did it. I think I did it. Always feels good to actually break through in those kinds of situations. Alright guys, well this has been Bomb Club. 